Morph? Metamorphosis. That means to change. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Power Rangers scandals. Someone was at the home of Austin St. John, uh, known as the original Red Power Ranger, but they had no comment. For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest controversies that stirred beneath the spandex of this beloved franchise. Did we miss any Zord-sized scandals? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Morphin Rangers are banned in Malaysia. As early as the series' very first season, these multicolored superheroes were facing monsters, Rita, and bands. At one time in Malaysia, the show wasn't allowed to be shown, but this wasn't due to the teenagers fighting or complaints about all the weapons they used. The ban actually came down to the series' name itself. Whoa. What are these? Those are your power morphers. When in danger, raise them to the sky, calling the name of your dinosaur, and you will morph into a formidable fighting force known to one and all as the Power Rangers. Morph? While the show's title use of Morphin as slang for morphing was harmless, Malaysian officials were concerned it sounded like the narcotic morphine. It was only allowed to broadcast in the country after Morphin was completely dropped from the title. It's morphing time! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber-tooth tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Number 9. Dangerous Working Conditions It turns out that beating monsters, foiling evil plans, and saving the Earth is risky work both on and off camera. <laughs> The tight production schedule, shoestring budget, and non-union cast led to a lot of cut corners in the early seasons. The original cast has been very outspoken about their experiences and mishaps. Billy, you're too high! According to various reports, stunt work was rushed and unrehearsed. Actors were often worked to exhaustion. And in one instance, a faulty prop caught on fire while actors Amy Jo Johnson and David Yost were in a body swap machine. Thankfully, they were unharmed at the end of the day, but it was still shocking to learn that a Freaky Friday machine could have caused real damage. Number 8. Rangers are forced to put their blade blasters away. While overseas pushback was certainly a headache, the series' statewide squabbles required more than just a quick name change. In the opening seasons, the Rangers used a rotating gauntlet of brightly colored weapons to battle evil. but their battle gear looked a little too real for parents. Parents aimed specific scrutiny at the laser-like blade blasters. Although they didn't fire bullets, adults didn't want kids idolizing any form of gun. <laughs> Under mounting pressure, the show made it so the rangers hardly ever used the blade blasters during fights. It also helped that the team got ninja powers to sneak right past having to rely on the controversial weapon. You have proven yourselves worthy to possess the power of ninja. This is a great responsibility. Use your powers wisely. The road you face will not be easy. Number seven, cast members walk out during a crossover. When members of the Lost Galaxy cast appeared for two crossover episodes after their run ended, they had to participate in battles and fight for screen time. Lost Galaxy Rangers? No way. Yeah, that's us. And it looks like we got here just in time. During production, Saban realized the returning Rangers weren't in the episodes very much. This caused the company to reevaluate the team's already agreed upon salaries. The pay dispute caused Amy Miller, who played the big bad Drakina, to walk off set. As a result, the episodes had to throw together a silly reason for the character to now wear a mask. 
Those miserable galaxy rangers destroyed my magnificent beauty, so I will repay their treachery by destroying their beloved Earth. Although Lost Galaxy Red Ranger Danny Slavin reportedly walked too, he completed enough scenes that his absence was barely noticeable. Actually, I think it was kind of fun getting back in the action. Oh. <laughs> Only you think that was fun. The more phenomenal mess behind the scenes of these episodes makes it a wonder this crossover happened at all. Number 6. Monica May's Burlesque Career Following the conclusion of SPD in 2005, the actress behind Street Smart Yellow Ranger Z found success in front of the camera and on stage as a burlesque dancer. But some people couldn't see her as anything but a Power Ranger. What about me? It's a hologram. It's not real. Okay, she's real. A vocal minority of fans have ridiculously criticized May for, quote, ruining their childhood just because she does risque performances. In 2020, she even took to Twitter to directly clap back at people who were trying to judge her choices. Since May has still been seen and invited to official Ranger fan events, it's clear that many people don't see anything wrong with May's burlesque. So while some viewers might want to call SPD to step in, there's no emergency here. See? You do the crime, you pay the time. Number 5. Alleged Relief Embezzling Almost 30 years after he was catapulted to stardom, original Mighty Morphin Ranger Austin St. John found himself in the limelight again. Jason, bold and powerful, you shall command the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur. But it wasn't because he was rocking a red suit. St. John was arrested alongside 17 other individuals for conspiracy to commit fraud. According to reports, he and the other people charged allegedly took advantage of special loans for COVID relief to make money. TMZ reports agents swarmed his McKinney home Thursday, armed and left with Geiger in handcuffs. St. John's representatives claim the actor was manipulated into taking part in the scheme. Before this news broke, he'd been making steady appearances at Ranger conventions and returned to the franchise on a few special occasions. So you're Goldar Maximus, huh? I hope you're a lot tougher than the last one we defeated. Oh, I am! And I brought an army, too! But after this controversy, St. John might not be welcomed back to Ranger events again. Number 4. David Yost Faces Prejudice On Set While the heroes stood for equality and fairness, Blue Ranger David Yost found that this sunny superhero series was a toxic and unaccepting workplace for him. Years after his departure from the franchise, he came clean about one of the major reasons he left the popular show. Yost reported that he faced relentless ridicule for his sexuality. Continuing to work in a, an environment like that uh, is really difficult. And I myself was struggling with who I was or what I was. After being demorphed from a ranger to a mentor, he stuck it out for a while before abandoning the role in Zeo without filming a goodbye. The production used archival footage and a hasty bit of exposition to explain his absence. Guys, I've made a really important decision. I'll miss you all, but I'm going to stay here on Aquatel with Sestria. I think I finally found someone I can really relate to. I knew you would, Billy. While his exit was shrouded in darkness, Yost is thankfully now appreciated for the hardship he endured for the sake of the franchise. Number 3. Ricardo Medina Jr. is convicted of a fatal crime Ricardo Medina Jr.'s on-screen charm and prowess for stunt work made him a standout as the Wild Force Red Ranger. I'm the Red Lion Ranger, and your rampage is here! Wild Force Rangers! He was so good that he was later invited back to play the conflicted character Decker in the Samurai season. However, Medina Jr.'s noteworthy status as one of the few actors to play multiple roles in the franchise was tarnished with one serious event. In 2015, he was sentenced to six years in prison for voluntary manslaughter. A judge in Lancaster sentenced this man, Ricardo Medina, to six years in prison. Medina appeared in the popular children's TV series Power Rangers. Medina Jr. pled guilty to fatally wounding his roommate during a heated confrontation. 
Since the weapon he used was a sword hanging on the wall, rewatching his samurai scenes can be uncomfortable. Finally, Decker. I knew you'd come. Number two, Pua Magasiva's death. Years after actor Pua Magasiva played Red Ranger Shane in Ninja Storm, he was convicted of domestic violence. Ninja Storm. Ranger Storm. <laughs> this shocking report was followed by the tragic news that he took his own life. In the aftermath of Magasiva's passing, a diary he allegedly wrote highlighted that he struggled with self-loathing, dependency on alcohol, and feelings of inferiority. His issues with self-confidence are eerily similar to problems his character faced in Power Rangers. Face your fear, Shane. Believe in yourself and you will have nothing to fear. I hear you, Sensei. It's understandable why fans may be reluctant to revisit episodes that explore Shane's psychology today. Even though the Red Ranger's struggles were fictional, seeing Magasiva portray him feels real and very heavy. Oh, sorry, Tor. I can't really focus right now. Brother's visit's really messing with you, huh? Yeah. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Original Cast Departure The original series was an instant success upon release. Go Rangers, and let the power protect you! It's more for time! Tiger Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber-Tooth Tiger! Tyrannosaur! Unfortunately, all wasn't well behind the scenes. In the midst of criminally low pay, harsh working conditions, and no end in sight, three of the original Rangers tried to push for better conditions. Red Ranger Austin St. John, Yellow Ranger Tweed Trang, and Black Ranger Walter Emmanuel Jones teamed up to get more from the show. We will now start the ceremony to transfer power from Jason, Zack, and Trini to Rocky, Adam, and Aisha. But talks failed, and the three abruptly left the series in the middle of the second season. The show used a variety of techniques to obscure their absence until new rangers could be cast. There they are. <laughs> you guys are going to Switzerland. All three of us? Yep. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a chance of a lifetime. Yeah! <laughs> All right. While the transition may have gone over our heads when we were younger, it's difficult to unsee how messed up the trio's exit was as adults. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.